What's up, Zane, dude? Oh. Yeah, bro. What's up? Oh. Brain house. Oh. Brain house. A local collective of film majors in the Film and Media Productions concentration at Arizona State University. For almost two years, these aspiring artists have thrived on making movies inside and outside of class. In this documentary, we focus on one Brainhouse member, DJ Birch, a 20-year-old boy with a passion for film. A passion so strong, it almost destroyed him. When I came up with his uh, film 3 like right in front of me and just kind of pitched it, and I was like, that's really good, go run with that immediately. <laughs> Yeah. In the first semester of the Film and Media Production Program, FMP, we were each assigned three films to make, each with different prompts. The first two went over pretty smoothly, but it's the third film that really set him off. A guy who worked at NASA, and uh, there's like a, they're watching one of the rockets launch, and the, the broadcast gets interrupted by what we think is like an alien, you know, broadcast. On. For the third film, we were each assigned to make a movie all by ourselves. Now, we've all done that before, but this time, it was different. Every year, colleges across the country put on a contest called Campus Movie Fest. The contest was open to any student. The catch? Each film was only allowed one week of production. In 2015, Arizona State University held the contest smack dab in the middle of FMP's third film assignment. I suppose it was our fault for encouraging it, but I mean, we all thought he could do it. He ended up putting all his time into his Campus Movie Fest movie and none into his FMP film. On the night of January 5th, 2014, did you or did you not create the first draft of the P.S. Schumer building with my client? I don't remember the exact date. You don't remember the date? He's lying. I know. Actually, you don't know. Six Feet Over ended up winning a ton of awards. Um, best Actress, Cinematography and Editing. Oh, and the Jury Award, which is pretty much the best picture. It was awesome, but was it worth failing a class and getting kicked out of FMP? See, the thing with DJ is, he's a pretty good writer. Eh, okay director, but he is not a producer. He's always been a big vision guy. His script for film three, that was big vision. The script for his third FMP film, Lies My Country Told Me, originally had eight locations and six characters. After he realized he had about two weeks to put it all together, he cut it down to seven locations and three characters. It wasn't enough. The stress was driving him crazy. DJ. <laughs> Since everyone was so busy with their own films, no one wanted to produce DJs. And because DJ's so bad at producing, I think he only got like three locations and each of them he could only use for like two or three hours. So, pseudocode is English-like syntax that represents program language. Did anyone watch the video I told you about last week? Of course not. You are all watching that video that NASA aired to scare you back into funding. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, guys. Wait, what is it? Oh no, no you're starting from the uh, it, the oh god. Wait, it's my oh god, and then he comes around. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were just getting him hesitating. No, no, oh, okay. I'm just telling <laughs> him to stick into. The <laughs> yeah, I was like, all right. Yeah, yeah we're still rolling. Hesitation. Let's do a second acting. <laughs> yeah. So, right. can we get it with a little better acting? Yeah, let's do this again with better acting, Chuck. Yeah? Alright, cool. I've worked with DJ before. You know I love the guy. We've been friends since freshman year of high school. But the way he is with actors when he's on a time crunch... Just horrible. Just say it the way I said it, okay? Don't, don't, just say it the way I said it before. I'll shove your ass up your ass! One of the locations he got for us, we were literally at for 10 minutes. The cops got called, and well, the DJ didn't like that. Are you serious? How is he not wanted for murder? One time on set, 
DJ didn't like the pants I was wearing, and they were the only pair I brought to set. Cameras rolling and action. No, stop! God! The pants that I hit on! It's freaking horrible! It's hard! He ended up making me do the scene in my underwear. After a while, everyone was starting to get a little worried, and uh, I was voted to go and check up on him, and uh, it didn't really go too well. With one week left and only half the movie filmed, he decided to edit together what he had. The product? An unfinished film that could ruin his future forever. Then, he did the unthinkable. I'm surprised he did it! It really does take a crazy person to come up with an idea as nuts as this. At the 11th hour, DJ decided to make a documentary about the making of Lies My Country Told Me instead. It's a genius idea, really. I'm wondering if this was his intention all along. DJ knows he's a bad producer. Why would he write a screenplay with eight different locations knowing he had to get them all himself? I'm telling you, there's no way he thought he could get them all done in two weeks. I mean, why else would he have had cameras following him everywhere? Was he really acting the whole time? Or was he actually going crazy? Such a fucking dick. I am FFP! I am FFP! I am FFP!